but when you have oregano like this okay and you go into the health food store you're going to see oil of oregano you don't want that oil of oregano uh, we did some gas chromatographies on we i took 30 products in the marketplace i shipped it overseas to the experts in the mediterranean at the university and they analyzed it almost half of them are genetically engineered oh my god where they're in and they're not even it's not even wild this is so wild it grows on top of the mountain. And being sold in health food stores, which then confuses more people. That's right. That's right. And the wild stuff grows on rock. A lot of this stuff now is being grown on soil. It doesn't like soil. It doesn't like, uh, you know, uh, California soil or, right. or Canada or Mexico. It grows in the Mediterranean. So these, they, what they do is they inject the stalk of the oregano and then they plant it in the soil. They inject it with the bacteria, Pseudomonas to make it go to have a high active ingredient. You see, the active ingredient of oregano is a lot of things. <laughs> Carbacrol, thymol, terpenes, alcohols, 35 different active ingredients. When I checked some of these other products, the oil of oregano generics, the oregano vulgar generics, some of them only had seven or eight active ingredients. Oh my God. So it's a falsified engineered garbage. So, you know, the main thing is a whole food, wild, has to say wild, oil of oregano hand-picked. The P73 is what I use. Wow. So you just saw me take 20 drops of this stuff. Mm -hmm. You can take this every day. You can't take some other junk every day. But when it's really a, a spice from the mountains, squirt it under the tongue every day. Well, because of the, even the, the, if it's a tribe, if it's villagers that live in that area, they're taking it more than once a day. They're using it daily it's as a daily. tea. Exactly. Yeah. And they're, you know, and, and then so you can take it as a gel cap. Right. Right. But but I only quote the Bible because if I quote anything else, I might get into whatever. Right. <laughs> so, and, and I'm not the expert in the Bible, but I will tell you, it tells you to purge yourself, right? Mm -hmm. And the purge is with hyssop. No, hyssop is from Aesop. Aesop is from Aesop. Aesop means wild oregano. It doesn't mean hyssop. Wow. It's only in the Mediterranean. So they can take it and whatever it is, purge. Now, if you want to go up another level, I like this. Now, so this I, is the general stuff, the oil of oregano. Yeah, yeah. now the one, now, okay, three. on the capsules, how many would someone take on a one day? One a day. Just one Why a day. Why not? Okay. Why get sick? Why have trouble when you're traveling around of risks, tropical, non-tropical, something could happen in the gut, something can happen here, somebody's got a germ, some kind of crazy thing going on, some kind of toxin. Just take it every day and be quiet. <laughs> and then the other thing, I don't get sick. I don't have time for it. Do you? Uh, no, I don't have time for it at all. Do you use this? Yes, you have. I have to. That one and the capsule. And you don't, you don't get this garbage. Heck no. Nor do I. No. Now here's something that's really powerful. I heard about this. I have not tried this, gonna, one, but yeah. I heard it's the, uh, the wild thing. oregano, and cumin, and sage dried to a dust and put in a capsule. So powerful. Wow. Yeah? Yeah. You can smell, and this you is... smell all of it. Oh, man. So, you know, people, when you need so, the... So, that one, if you really want to knock something out, yeah, knock you, it dead, you that's need, what you take. You need the big power. <laughs> now, now, admittedly, when somebody's taking power like this, and they're taking a lot of it, you know, not just a little bit every day, but they may need some healthy bacteria. Mm -hmm. I like the really good natural plant source, uh, Health Back. It's called Health Back. Mm -hmm. Ecologic 500, that's the one I use because it's from plants uh, rather than animal gut. Right, so, I got you. Yeah. Now, here's another thing I use. Uh, this is important. Clean oh, it out. For the sinus. Saline plus sage and wild oregano, but mostly the sea, wild sea salt with wild oregano and all that, bay leaf, sage, and then, you know, lay on the back and just let that get in there, squirt it in and let that clean everything out oh i love this because you know if a person did get some garbage how could you walk into a public toilet without inhaling garbage <laughs> yeah. i mean or whatever uh, any no. closed building if what if you're in an auditorium with 500 people or what are you going to get from that well okay so, so then and, with the sinu uh, orega yeah this this stuff. one uh people with allergies sinus problems I guess uh, asthma, bronchitis, can you... Can Cop on. Everything. You've got garbage coming in here and garbage going down in there. Right. You know, and it's all stuck in here. Look, if you were a fungus, mm -hmm. wouldn't you look for something like warm, 
fuzzy, moist, and cool. Of course. How about the sinus cavity? Yeah. And you know, this isn't my idea. Yeah, I mean, Mayo. Mayo did the study, which I had already prelimed in the Cures in the Cupboard, but they did it. They said, look, when we took 200 humans and we analyzed them and they had the polyps, they had the surgery, they had the sinusitis, they had the congestion, they had the bronchitis, they had the garbage, nobody could help. And they analyzed them, like almost all of them out of 200 had fungus up here among us, growing like weeds. Oh my goodness. Super pathological fungus, up to eight funguses attacking black fungus, green fungus, red rust fungus. You got to get rid of that garbage. And then finally, I brought something I love because I know how protective this is against the body. You know, these are crazy times. Oh, I know so you want are. something that'll protect you. You've got toxins, you've got radiation. You know the studies I did with this, uh, some terribly sick people from Belarus, Russia, that got hit by Chernobyl. Right, I know. I remember you telling you know, me that and, story. And how I used the oil and the juice to help these poor souls. Now, and which this also, oregano? You know, these, okay, I see that. I want to show you juice. just what... For if a person was concerned, you know, yeah. not to make a claim, right? but you know, I published on this in my books, mm -hmm. The Cures in the Cupboard and also Natural Cures for Health Disasters, which has big sections on radiation. So I would have to tell everybody to, to help the human race, help our listeners, that I take all of this every day, the way the world is now. And this is what I used for those pitiful souls, soil, <laughs> souls. <laughs> yes, yeah, so. their soil must not be very good. Uh, <laughs> now, from from uh, you know that we're from to Chernobyl, and I. And How much did they take of that per day? Uh, you know, like an ounce. Wow. And a couple capsules and forty drops twice a day, but they had fungus all over them. Yeah. Because the toxins, the radiation, actually mutated everything in their body, and they had this fungus. Now, what is the difference between the oregano in the bigger bottle versus the one in the dropper bottle? Well, this is the, okay. This is the aromatic hydrazole. When when the when the extractors, because I like this company, I buy this product because they have their own extraction facility in the Mediterranean and they have their own pickers and they use pure mountain water from the aquifer and, and they make the extract and they bring it to the states and make it available to us. But when I was there in Turkey, there was nothing like this. It was in a Pepsi bottle. They would take this, which is the steam, when they extract the oregano, it drizzles into the, the drum and, and the village chief said, well, this is what we use. They didn't even use anything else. So they used it for chronic disease, people with the diabetes. They would tell me all this arthritis, all yeah. these, these claims they were making. I didn't make the claim, they were making the claim. Yeah. But as I traveled, I found a, a village chief who turned into a colleague and he treated uh, Chernobyl victims with this, the steam extract. Oh you see, this is, this, this is the that's oil, a, oh, that's this a is the steam. Extract. You know, okay. The water goes here in this one drum and the oil in another. And, and this is, uh, they had terrible thyroid goiters and cancers. This is what the village chief used. Wow. Cleaned it, cleaned it up and published it in the newspaper. So while we are restricted here and we admit to that and we know that, uh, I'm, that this is not a claim for anybody and I'm not recommending anybody do anything. But I will say that this is knowledge that we have to have. We have to know about how powerful this is, and our God gave it to us, and he even told people to take it. They didn't do anything. Well, you've covered, I mean, just with these uh, products that you've shown us today, and with everything that we have to deal with uh, in our environment, I mean, we have people who are dealing with allergies 